Close your eyes, just for a moment. Now, imagine this. You're standing on a distant planet, gazing up at the sky. Above you, a giant glowing red star is breathing its final breath. Here's the mind-bending part. Our own sun, the very star that gives life to Earth, has already begun its journey down that same path. Most people think of stars like candles. They burn, they shrink, they flicker out, and then they vanish. But the universe? It's never that simple. Every single second, the sun loses about 4 million tons of mass. Not by evaporating, not by collapsing, but through something far stranger. It turns mass into energy. The very light that takes eight long minutes to race across space and finally touch your skin here on Earth. And remember this, if the sun were to vanish right now, we wouldn't even notice, not until eight minutes later. That delicate thread connecting us to our parent star? It's just light. Welcome to Astro, the place where we journey deep into the paradoxes of the cosmos, where science and imagination pause together just to listen. So what's really happening inside the heart of the sun? Let's dive in and explore. Let's step deeper into the numbers that truly blow the mind. Imagine the greatest machine you've ever known. A machine that never stops, never needs repairs, and keeps running, not for years, not for centuries, but for billions of years. That's our sun. Deep inside its core, unimaginable pressure, about 250 billion times the atmospheric pressure here on Earth crushes hydrogen nuclei together. The result? Nuclear fusion. Hydrogen fuses to form helium. But here's the fascinating part. Not all the original mass survives this process. Roughly 0.7% of that hydrogen mass simply disappears. It doesn't evaporate, it doesn't leak away it transforms into pure energy. On paper, that percentage seems tiny, but on the scale of a star, it's staggering. Every single second, the sun loses about four million tons of mass. That's enough to generate the light, heat, and radiation that sustain life here on Earth. Stretch that across just one day, and you're talking about the mass equivalent of dozens of Earth's tallest mountains, gone. Here's something most people miss. The sunlight you see right now is actually a picture from the past. That light left the sun's surface eight minutes ago. So if the sun were to vanish this very second, we'd still bask in its warmth and glow for eight more minutes. We'd be living in the fading light of a star that no longer exists. Strange thought, isn't it? But here's the paradox. Despite shedding such colossal mass, the sun isn't shrinking. In fact, it's slowly expanding. As hydrogen runs low, the core heats up. That rising pressure pushes the sun's outer layers outward. Over time, it's destined to become a giant red sphere, a red giant. And that leads us to a haunting question. Will this gradual mass loss affect our planet's fate? And what exactly is happening inside the sun's core where the eternal tug of war between gravity and pressure plays out every second? Let's keep exploring. Let's imagine something extraordinary. What if you could shrink yourself down, smaller than a speck of dust, and dive straight into the heart of the sun? What would you find there? It's not just a giant ball of fire, the sun is a cosmic machine, an incredibly complex one, where the harshest laws of physics work together in perfect harmony. From the outside, we see a brilliant sphere of glowing plasma, but inside is a silent battle that's been raging for billions of years. On one side, gravity pulls inward, relentlessly trying to collapse the star's mass into its core on the other, the immense pressure from nuclear fusion pushes outward, fiercely resisting that collapse. 
If either side were to win, the sun would either implode or explode. But for most of its life, it holds steady, balanced in what scientists call hydrostatic equilibrium. And here's the twist. The sun isn't static in this process. As it burns through its hydrogen fuel, the core contracts, the temperature rises, and the sun's outer layers slowly swell outward. That's why, despite losing millions of tons of mass every second, the sun's diameter doesn't shrink. In fact, it actually grows over time. Some theories even suggest that tiny shifts in this balance create surface ripples. These ripples are detected as solar seismic waves, the focus of a fascinating field called helioseismology. These ripples carry clues about the sun's inner structure, allowing scientists to peer deep beneath the roiling plasma surface and decode its hidden secrets. Now, imagine standing on the sun's surface. If somehow you could survive, you'd be standing on nothing. There's no solid ground, only a sea of plasma with surface temperatures around 5,500 degrees Celsius. That's nearly 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And at its core, a staggering 27 million degrees Celsius. Pisting magnetic fields whip streams of plasma into fiery arcs, shooting out as solar flares, stretching hundreds of thousands of kilometers taller than Earth itself. And here's the strange part. All of this colossal, breathtaking activity exists for one purpose, to keep the star from collapsing under its own gravity. But this balancing act won't last forever. One day, fusion will stop, gravity will win, and the sun will enter an entirely new phase of its life. Are you ready to explore what happens next? Let's continue the journey. Now, imagine yourself floating in space, gazing back at the sun. For billions of years, this star has burned, nurturing life, shaping orbits, warming our planet. But every dance must come to an end. And no matter how mighty the sun seems, it can't escape the ultimate fate of a medium-sized star. In about five billion years, when the hydrogen in its core runs dry, the sun will enter its red giant phase a sight both magnificent and terrifying. Its outer layers will balloon outward, engulfing Mercury, Venus, and maybe even Earth. The skies will turn an ominous red. Temperatures will soar so high that Earth's oceans will evaporate. Its atmosphere will be stripped away, and the surface will become a cracked, burning wasteland. Computer simulations show that as the sun nears the end, it will swell to 100 times its current size. But here's the tragic twist. Even though it becomes enormous, it's growing weaker inside, no longer able to hold on to its massive outer layers. Eventually, those layers will be blown off into space. What's left behind? A smoldering core, a white dwarf. A stellar remnant no bigger than Earth, but so dense that a single teaspoon of its material would weigh as much as a truck. If you could somehow stand on the surface of a white dwarf, impossible, but let's imagine, you'd feel gravity pulling you down with a force hundreds of thousands of times stronger than Earth's. A tiny jump would crush you instantly, yet in that silent, dim shell, the sun's mission is complete. It has spent billions of years turning mass into light, stabilizing a planetary system, and now, at last, it quietly steps away. But is this really the end? Or is there still another chapter, an untold story, waiting behind this seemingly final curtain? Let's follow those cosmic clues. Let's pause. And imagine, you step outside tomorrow morning, the gentle sunlight kisses your skin, a feeling so ordinary, so familiar. But stop just for a moment. That light actually left the sun eight minutes ago. The star above us, 
burning brilliantly for 4.6 billion years, has become such a constant presence in our lives, we rarely stop to realize it's sacrificing part of itself every second, every minute, just to keep shining. Here's something fascinating. If the sun were to vanish right now, Earth wouldn't know. Not until eight minutes had passed. That thin sliver of time, delicate yet profound, reminds us of something. The existence of our planet and of ourselves is tied to the steady heartbeat of a giant ball of fire 93 million miles away. In this universe, nothing is eternal. Even the brightest stars had lifespans. And the price of their brilliance? An unavoidable gradual decay. When we gaze up at the night sky, some of those shimmering stars may already be gone. What we see is their final whisper, a last message sent across the vastness of space. So here's a thought. If life on Earth depends on such a delicate balance of heat, light, and gravity, what happens when that balance slips? If the sun's radiation or mass loss changed even slightly, would Earth still remain a haven for life? Scientists have long debated whether the sun's ongoing mass loss could gradually shift planetary orbits. And the answer is yes, but at a pace almost too slow to grasp. Each year, Earth drifts about 1.5 centimeters farther from the sun. It sounds trivial, but over billions of years, it will reshape the architecture of our solar system. So maybe when we look up at the blue sky today, we're not just seeing a star. We're witnessing a cosmic life form telling a story, the story of what it costs to shine. And the final question is this, what will we, the tiny observers under this light, do with the gift we've been given? Perhaps it's time we listen to the final chapter of this story. Let's imagine you're floating through space, watching as the sun enters the last chapter of its life. A massive red giant swelling so large it swallows the inner planets inside its blazing plasma. Earth, once a cradle for life, now reduced to a scorched, vaporized rock under unimaginable heat. But here's the paradox. Even though the sun appears bigger than ever, inside it's weaker, exhausted. Its core has run out of fuel, no longer able to sustain the nuclear fusion that's held it up for billions of years. At that point, gravity quietly takes over, pulling the core inward. The sun's outer layers? They're blown away, forming a glowing planetary nebula, a shimmering shell of gas glittering in the darkness of space. Fast forward a few billion years, and all that remains is a white dwarf. Small, dense, cold. So dense, in fact, that a single teaspoon of its material would weigh as much as a truck. It cools, it fades, and eventually, it disappears from sight, as if it never existed. But zooming out, this isn't just the story of our sun. It's the shared destiny of countless stars across the universe. For the giants, those stars tens of times the sun's mass, the ending is even more dramatic, collapsing into black holes, exploding as supernovae, or giving birth to supermassive monsters that devour entire galaxies. And that brings us to the ultimate question. Are these endings truly the end? Or are they the beginning of something new? A cosmic cycle where matter and energy are reborn, writing the next chapter in the never-ending story of the universe. If you found yourself swept up in this journey, consider subscribing to join us as we explore even more cosmic mysteries. And tell us in the comments below what do you think awaits beyond the final edge of the stars? We'll see you next time as the universe whispers its next story.